Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can set your ultimate Java development environment in your Linux machine. If you are using Windows machine, don't worry. The most interesting part of this tutorial is we are going to use Visual Studio Code as our text editor and we will run our code there as well. So if you are using Windows machine, just install Visual Studio Code there and you will good to go. Visual Studio Code in my opinion is the best place to set up your coding environment no matter what technology you are using or what programming language you want to work with. Now we will discuss the features and advantages of Visual Studio Code later maybe in another dedicated video. But without any further delay, let's dive into the today's topic. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can set up Visual Studio Code, shortly VS Code, to run Java programs and I will show you how to run the program in your terminal as well. So specifically for Linux users, they can run the program without VS Code also. So let's first move ahead to the browser to download VS Code. The download link is given into the description below. So go ahead and download it. Select the installer as per your machine configuration. Here I will choose this installer with .deb extension. Now, if you don't like to install the dev file manually, here's another more easier option is available for you. So what you have to do? Just click on this snap store button and this will redirect you to the snap store from where you can directly install the VS code in your Linux machine. So let me show that also. So when you click on the install button here, you will get two options. You can install via desktop snap store app or you can install it by executing the following command in your command prompt. So let me install via the desktop app and when you click on the button, you can see a pop-up is shown. Click the button open xdg open and here I am choosing the snap store option. The snap store is opened but you can't see it I know for the totally transparent background color of the snap store window. So let me minimize all the other windows. And here you can see in my machine already VS code is installed. In your machine you will see the install button will be available there. So on clicking that you can easily install the VS code on your machine. In the meantime, let's install the JDK. So to do that, open the terminal and type sudo apt get install default JDK. And hit enter. The command is available in the description below so that you can just copy and paste the command. Now. As we have completed installing JDK, you can compile and run any Java file in terminal with the Java C and Java commands. I will show that later. Let me first set up our Visual Studio code to run Java file. Ok, so after installing JDK, move ahead to our VS code. So after installing Visual Studio code, let's open it. Let me first choose a folder to create the Java files. Here I am creating a Java file named hello world. Remember that the file name should be same as the class name that you are going to define here. 
Now, if you are doing this for the first time in your VS Code, right after you will create the file, you can see at the bottom right corner of your VS Code, a message popped up instructing to install some recommended extensions for Java. Go ahead with the steps and install all these extensions and that will set your environment automatically to run Java code as well as you will get the features like IntelliSense, code completion, complex project management, error detection, debugging, etc. Now, if it is not showing, click on the extensions button right over here and search with the keyword Java as I am doing here. Here, we have to install some of the extensions. So the first extension will be this one, Java extension pack, install it. And when you install this extension, this will install the subsequent extensions, namely language support for Java by Red Hat, Maven for Java, Java test runner, project manager for Java, debugger for Java, and spring initializer Java support, and also the Visual Studio IntelliCode. So after successfully installing these extensions, let's write a code and run it inside our VS Code. And as you can already see that there is a run button showing at the top right corner in our VS Code. So we can easily compile and run Java files by just clicking that button only. So let's write a code to print hello world in our terminal. As you can see, we can get the features like syntax highlighting, intelligence, code completions, error checking while writing the code. As I have completed with the code, let's click the run button and see what happened. And as expected, the output is showing in the command prompt. So, you can realize running any Java file on VS Code is even more easier than the process where we first compile the code with Java C and then we execute the class file with Java command. Now, we can do that also in the terminal. So, let's open the same directory in the terminal and type Java C hello world dot Java. and then java hello world and as you can see we are getting the same result as you can realize that you can follow the steps to set up the vs code to run java programs in windows machines also just you have to download the jdk and install it manually so let us move to the download page Here you can see various JDK is available for different platforms. You have to download the one for Windows most probably in between the last two. One is for a 32-bit and another is for a 64-bit architecture. Download and install that in your machine before installing the extensions in your VS Code. After installing the JDK, you can easily set VS Code to run Java files following my steps. So hope this video is very helpful for you and also it will increase your productivity to write Java codes. If you like this video just hit the like button so that the video can reach to most of the people in YouTube and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss a video. So that's all for today, hope to meet you in my next video.
थैंक यू